Technology companies and design schools are using design thinking to solve some of the world's most difficult problems. Schools like Stanford and MIT have spaces created for the sole purpose of encouraging innovative collaboration. Design thinking uses creativity, innovation, empathy, and collaboration to come up with novel solutions to some of our most difficult problems. What if our school also had a space devoted to student-centered, creative design challenges? Growing something on their own, it makes them like want to do it. And then yeah, they want to eat proud. it more. They'll yeah. be proud to eat it. Yeah. In like inner city schools, it's hard for them to yeah. get outside to a place like that because you know they're in the city. So we'll bring the nature to them. We're the iLab AM Cisco class. Um, our project is going to be cleaning dirty water uh, to try to help aid. Uh, village in Africa with their water solution and to monitor the, uh, how clean the water is, we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi. What are you to be printing parts? Um, this project is going to take a lot of research and collaboration, but we can give it. Steven Spring was a great project. These black things are the retractable motors, and when you bend your hand like this, the motors would spin and they would retract the cable down, keeping it tight, which would also keep it snug to the hand. This is the glove, and um, you select an exercise and the brainwave scanner senses when you think and so when you think like move finger in that exercise then the glove will move your finger for you. Yeah. So it would have something like that on a ball joint in between the fingers that would allow it to collapse and extend to create that kind of movement. Let them find out the amount of cops that are out of work because of back problems right. which many are due to the weight of that gum though between that and the bulletproof vest yeah. So if they could design something that can carry all of these tools that the officers need, but make it lighter, right. maybe a different position of it, maybe a different width, this is, these are the things they're going to have to research in order yeah. to, you know, create a solution and actually design that utility belt. From that, they then learn about criminal justice in a deeper manner, and then they take that information and they apply that to innovating something. So they're, like, they're, they're getting that higher level of synthesis and they in, internalize the information for, that they need to know for criminal justice. 